What's an aimbot? Today I decided to do a different type of video. I was playing last night and the idea kind of came to mind. I was playing uh, Attack on Eichenwald and I did a flank that my team had no idea existed. They were like, what? How'd you do that? And it got me thinking that I probably know a few little spots that you guys may not know of. Some, some that are useful, like very useful all the time that I always use and some are really situational. Either way, I'm sure that there's a couple spots in here that you guys haven't seen before. So, let's uh, let's jump right into it. I'll start I'll start with the Eichenwald one. Enemy team's got a bunch of shields. You're not really being useful. You can't really do too much. You still want to play Widow. You can hook on this little ledge right here. And you can actually flank all the way around. <laughs> Boom, you're behind. The enemy team has a Bastion or something posted up right here. It's also really good. You can get them to turn their back to you, allowing your team to push to the front door. So your team is taking the first point, you're rolling the car through this door, and they probably have a soldier or something on the high ground, having a tough time getting to them. You can hook on this ledge right here, and you can see perfectly on the high ground. You can catch them off guard and you can get an easy headshot. There's another little spot up in here that lots of people don't know about. You can come up here, and there's these windows that you can shoot through. There's that window there, and then there's another window right here. And you can see up top. Once your team pushes through to the last point, you can hook up on top of these things and you can shoot through the spawn. This one's pretty well known, but I figured I'd add it in there in case you didn't know about it. So if you're defending on King's Row before the countdown starts, you can come up here and you can actually hook on this ledge right here. If you don't move after you hook, you can sit on it. You can shoot them as they come through here. Nobody ever looks up here. I mean, they might now, but <laughs> it's a really good way to start the game. After you've uh, been noticed, you can easily dip out just by doing that. Boom. You're good. The next spot is coming over here. So you just capture the first point on attack. You want to get into the back. You want to get a little head start. You can hook on this pole. You got an easy shot on anything back there. Super easy shot. Another really good one is if this barrier is still here. It kind of sucks. Sometimes it gets knocked off. But you can stand on the barrier. <laughs> if you're attacking on Volskaya, you can come over to the side. Rather than going through the middle, you come through the side. All you need to do is stand still, hook the edge, and just walk forward. That's it. Don't jump going into it, because if you jump going into it, you're probably going to fall into the water. Attacking on Temple of Anubis, sometimes you can't go up here without being concentrated by a Diva Genji or whatever. Maybe the enemy Widow is killing you every time you go up. You can go left with your team and hook up in this window. You get up in this window. And a lot of the times they'll have like an Orisa or a Rhine or whatever, they'll post it up right here or a Torb turret or something. You can shoot through this corner. Once you're done with that, you can come. You can see up top there. Or you can even come around back and flank an enemy Widow, Hanzo, whatever might be up here. Second point, rather than going up here or shooting through the middle door, you can actually hook up on top here. And you can see a lot of the defense. A lot of the times you'll see an enemy Widow posted up here or a Hanzo or a Genji or something. Something that can climb up there. You can get a soldier up there as well. So, attacking on King's Row. This is a really good spot, obviously, the most generic. Shooting right from the spawn door. Another spot on that corner. But what I like to do, especially if, the, if there's a known Widow player on the other team, rather than trying to out-Widow him from the spawn door, where it's he's probably going to be looking at from the start, is to hook on the corner of this wall and shoot him as you're hooking. If you're defending on King's Row this first point, the most generic spots are probably up here, on that corner, and somewhere down there. A lot of times what I like to do is to come up here and shoot between the statue. Between the statue is unique because they're not going to look here. It, you're really hard to be seen here. The enemy widow is going to be checking up there or checking on the stairs. They're not going to be checking here. So if you're attacking the final point, you can uh, obviously go up top there. That's a pretty obvious spot. But, very situational, you can actually go underneath, hook that ledge, and boom, you're behind everybody. Again, very situational, but could be useful. Alright, we'll talk about Dorado next. If you're defending on Dorado, you can come up here, and whether it's the start of the game or middle of the game, whatever, if you want to try to get a little spawn kill, you can sit up here, rather than going in the generic spots to the right, or on top of that spot, or on top of that spot. This is a good one because as they come out, they typically don't look up here. Alright, so you're attacking on Junkertown. You walk out the spawn door and you can't actually see anything over there. It's too dark. 
So I got my friend Iceman over there, and he's shooting arrows at me. But picture a widow in that spot. I'll show you what it looks like from that perspective. You walk out, boom, easy kills, freebies. This is what it looks like from this spot. So if you come over here, you just shoot them as they walk out of the spawn door. When things get hairy, all you need to do is walk out, and you're out. Plain and simple. So this one's a little bit more unique, but I like the first one better because you can't be seen and you have an easy getaway. But what you can do is you can actually come up here and you can hook on top of this tin. Alright, well, I messed it up. I have no hook cooldown, so kind of fixed it. But you can do it, do it without the hook cooldown. But you can stand up here and you can shoot them as they come up the spawn. Problem with that is that you're wide in the open. You're super easy to be seen. This spot is really great if you're defending. All you need to do is hook and land where I place my mine. It is tricky to get into, but it can be done. Let me give it another try. And... Oh, almost. It, like I said, it's tricky. I'm, gonna sh I'm not going to cut out the attempts because I'm going to show you that it is tricky. That's why it's not really viable in a normal game because it takes so long to try. But if you do get up here, it is a really, really good spot. You see literally everything. Nice thing about this spot is you can actually get up here from the other side. So you can hook from this side and you can do the exact same thing. I'm not going to try over and over again, but it can be done. Okay, another really good spot that people don't think about. Usually after you get through this door, you just want a team fight. Most of the time, right? Let's say you just want a team fight. What I like to do is I like to hook up here and don't move. You want to stand right here and you want to shoot through that spawn door. They're going to be running through that door. If they have a Winston, Diva, Genji, whatever, they can dive and dash you, right? Problem with standing here is now you have no getaway. You're blocked in on these three angles, right? Whereas if you're standing up here, all you need to do is walk backwards and you're back with your team again. So you, you can actually get kills and you can get back. A good one for if you're defending is to come over to this side of the wall and you can shoot the enemy team as they walk through here from their spawn. So usually this is after a team fight or whatever. What I like to do is put a mine on the ground down there because sometimes you'll see like a, a McCree or a soldier try to come up these stairs. So it kind of stops the flankers from coming and you're able to shoot through here. This last one is very situational and it has worked for me before. What you can do is you can come up here and lots of the times they'll have a Widowmaker that's posted up there, right? You can come up here and you can shoot the Widowmaker through these boxes. There's openings in these boxes and you can shoot through them. It's a really good spot. Really, really good spot. But again, very situational because if nobody's standing up there, it's useless. There's two ways that I like to start playing on Gibraltar. First is to come out the left door and hook up on this ledge. Stay low. You don't want to hook up too high because if the enemy has a Widow, she's going to be looking, right? So if you're in the air, she's going to see you. So you want to hook, you want to jump a little bit early and stay low. Anybody that peeks up here, it's a free kill. Super easy to do. The second spot that I like to come out is to come out this right hand door. If you come out the right hand door, you can hook on top of here, get up high and you can shoot a lot of the people that are behind the shield. Typically you're going to have a shield up here, right? So you can shoot the guys as they come behind. As long as you land on here, you're probably going to be pretty safe. You can either fall down back to your team, you can come in here, there's lots of ways that you can go away. The most typical way of defending on Gibraltar is to either head glitch from these boxes, look down. It's 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 a good spot. I mean, you're head glitching. You're hard to hit. You're probably going to have a Reinhardt up here. A lot of people stand up here as well. Some people like to stand on top of these, this thing too, this ball thing. All of which are great. I mean, you're, you're in a good spot, but it's a typical spot, right? How I like to play sometimes, depending on what I'm playing against, you can come to the side of this. You can shoot through here. You can shoot them as they're coming out the spawn, you can shoot them on the right here. You need to be wary sometimes of flankers, because obviously flankers can come through the back there, or they can come up top here. But this is a really good spot because nobody really checks up here. I'm sure most of you know this one by now, but let's say you're attacking and you want to get behind them. You can actually hook on top of here, jump over, land on the bridge. Most people I'm sure know that one already. Also, if you're defending, the attackers are going to come through that door, walk the car up here, right? You can stand here, you win a team fight, whatever. Let's say you want to get a different angle on them, you can hook up here. Lots of people don't know about this one. You can land on top of this ledge. It's a good spot because you can get lots of different angles. Sometimes uh, the enemy will get panicky. 
they'll go into this room to grab the mega health kit, right? So if they're in that room, all you need to do is sit right here and camp, wait for them to come out of that room. The final spot on Gibraltar that I want to talk about is up here. I honestly never see Widows up here. I don't know why, but this is an awesome spot. If the enemy team doesn't have a, a hero that can fly up here or whatever, you sit up here, this is, is freebies all day. Great spot. There's nowhere for you to be flanked from. Your back is to the wall. You're behind your team. They have to come up this way. This is a really good spot. So when I'm attacking, I basically just use main sight lines on Horizon. Although when I'm defending, I like to come up here. This spot isn't used very much, but it is really good. Nice thing about this spot is you can see up there, you can see up there, and if you stand right on the edge, you can see the corner of that spot. Typically what I would do is I'd leave the railings intact and I would jump on the railings and stand on the railings if I want to look over there because it gives you that little extra height and it works really well for defense. As well, you can hook yourself up and you can stand on top of this crane. If it doesn't throw you off, because the crane does move a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't throw you off, but it's a really good spot to stand up here, shoot these people. It's really nice if they don't have a shield, especially if they're going up there. No. But as it moves, it opens all that up which is awesome. Great spot to defend from. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Those are my favorite spots on the maps that I showed you. A lot of it is just like main sight lines and a lot of it is trying to be unique in how you play, right? And how you stand. You don't want to stand right in the open. You don't want to stand in the typical widow spot. Like this map, for instance, uh, you come out to spawn, every single widow ever stands up here. Every single widow stands here or either on the bridge. So you want to switch it up. You want to try to be different, you want to try to be unique, you know, find different places. Be be creative, try to try to figure things out. There's lots of, lots of opportunities. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see some something similar to this, I can definitely do that. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one. Resurrect you with the team bag on my jinx I got this screen Got to the map, put your ultra quick They can never really keep up with my ultimate Put the scope on your throat, cock back, let it go What's that, got a widow's kiss Cause you look around the map where the widow is Throw it up, thanks squad, no, you know this